Okay, well, I worked some more with this uh, electrostatic motor that I showed in my last video and made a little bit better setup. I used um, big pins with uh, aluminum foil tape for the uh, positive and negative electrodes, and then the uh, little brushes are aluminum foil. The disc is a clear CD. Uh, I'm running it on one bearing. It's a little ball bearing down inside there. It's a steel ball bearing I rinsed out with acetone. And the power source is a negative ion generator, a 6 kV 12 volt negative ion generator that will also run off of a 9 volt battery. I'm going to show this on 12 in just a second, but uh, I had a lot of fun with this. And um, it was a fun little project. The nut there is for balancing this uh, rotor a little bit better. Let's let's give her a go here. Put the nine volt battery on it. Turn this a bit and this should start running. There it goes. If you've never made an electrostatic motor and you're interested in electric motors find a design and build one of these. These are a lot of fun. Uh, they don't take a lot of time. They're not like the Stirling motors that take forever or even a steam engine or something. An electrostatic motor is not that hard to make and uh, they're fun. It doesn't make much noise so you're not going to bother anybody. But what happens is these little uh, aluminum foil brushes basically tap that rotor and transfer a charge using the Coulomb effect from one side to another and it causes the uh, rotor to turn. Like I say, it doesn't make much noise. Now when I run this on 12 volts, this gets going really fast and I think I may actually have a corona motor type of effect. I'm going to look at it tonight when it gets dark and see if I can see some corona coming off those uh, brushes. Let me take this off. I'll put it on 12 volts now. Okay, now it's running on this 12 volt battery. This will spin up a lot faster. It draws 30 milliamps that uh, negative ion generator. You go on eBay, look them up. They're not very expensive. And like I say, it's a 6 kV, 6,000 volt. You need the high voltage on this. None of my other electrostatic uh, generators or devices would run this. It's just too heavy of a wheel. And there's too much friction involved and stuff. But this little ion generator runs it real good. Well, anyway, that's the little electrostatic motor I just built. I've never made one of these uh, ones like this where the rotor is um, a flat plate. Um, I just never thought it would work, and uh, sure enough, it does work. Thanks for watching.